Jeb Bush is making waves. The former governor told NBC's Matt Lauer on the, on the Today Show that he is not ruling out a run for president in 2016. Take a listen. You're going to speak later this month before CPAC. You've been invited. Obviously, you've got this new book out that you're talking about. It sounds like you are gearing up for a run. Those are the kinds of things people do when they're increasing their public profile. Are you going to run in 2016? This, that's way off into the future. I have a voice. I want to share my beliefs about how the conservative movement and the Republican Party can regain its footing because we've lost our way. But I mean, you clearly have not ruled out. You will not definitively rule out a run for president in the year 2016. I won't, but uh, I'm not going to declare it today either, Matt. Very interesting. Jeb Bush also raised eyebrows when he said that he opposes a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants already living in the United States, even though he has long supported such a policy. My first reaction was, hmm, could he possibly be thinking about a run in 2016? I mean, obviously his, his, uh, his stance on immigration seems to be uh, moving a little more to the right. Yeah, it's kind of a surprising thing. He's been this person who's been much more centrist on immigration policy for a long time, and he's still... I just sort of skimmed his book, actually. He's still saying a lot of the same things, but it's interesting to go back and say, actually, no pathway to citizenship, because that's been something that he's been far more to the left of the whole party on up to this point. And in terms of the run for president, you have him now in contrast to Marco Rubio, who's another potential contender, also from Florida, who's supporting a pathway. So it's sort of strange. I don't necessarily see what the point of it is. I feel like, you know, if you have this potential for a bunch of ads attacking you for being pro-pathway anyway, I mean, those are already could be coming. So what's the point of re reversing your position now? Um, well, but and I'm also sure how does has his reasons. I mean, honestly, I, I don't have a good answer. I find it kind of baffling that um, there would be this switch, I think, that the book still advocates for sort of a kinder, gentler way of dealing with it, some sort of legalization, but it is to the right of the, you know, these other proposals going on. I wonder if he thinks that it would be more of a win for him if that's how it comes out, or, you know, maybe he thinks it's just the best policy. <laughs> I guess we shouldn't rule that out, that it's not just politics.